What's up, what's going on guys? It's Migs with Polar Pro. We have the Mavic 2 Pro with us and I'm here to show you a few settings that will make your videos more cinematic. The first setting we're gonna talk about is gimbal speed. We know that getting the perfect shot is very important. So you might be going on a flight path, but the composition is a little off. So you're gonna need to tilt your camera up or down. You do this by using the tilt wheel on the left side of the controller. But out of the box, the gimbal's tilt sensitivity is a little stronger than normal. Even with the slightest touch, the movement seems a little fast and jerky, which could ruin your clip. So you're gonna need to go to the settings in the top right corner click the gimbal icon and then go to advanced settings. From there, you can see that the max gimbal speed is at 50. All you have to do is lower that gimbal sensitivity by moving the gimbal pitch to around 15 and then moving the gimbal pitch smoothness to about 20. By doing this, it slows down the movement of your gimbal tilt. So when you're adjusting it with that wheel, you have more control and the camera will be smoother. One little tip, is that when you move your sensitivity, tilting the camera up and down is gonna be much slower. In case you need to straighten up your camera, there's a button in the back that you click that makes the camera go straight and makes it face down. The next setting we're gonna talk about in the Mavic 2 is the shutter and aperture. In the past consumer drones and DJI line, changing the aperture wasn't possible. So adding that feature in the Mavic 2 is really nice. It's best to set and shoot your aperture at f2.8 up until f5.6. This is the native aperture where the image looks the sharpest. When shooting videos, you wanna follow the 180 degree rule of shutter. That means you have to set your shutter speed to double your frame rate. So if you're shooting at 30 frames per second, you wanna set your shutter speed to 1 60th. We have a video to show you in depth of how that works. We have a link down below, so make sure you check that out if you wanna learn more. The problem with past drones before aperture controls was setting the perfect exposure on bright days. Following the 180 degree rule of shutter leaves you with a blown out image. You would then have to speed up your shutter speed to compensate for that exposure, which leaves you with a jittery and uncomfortable footage. Being able to control shutter and aperture now gives you the capability to have full manual control of exposure in your video. This is really amazing, especially when you're trying to get those cinematic clips. The next setting we're gonna talk about is the picture profile. Out of the box, the Mavic 2 Pro comes in natural color profile. Although this is great, a key setting is to put your Mavic 2 Pro in D-Log. So what D-Log does is it increases the dynamic range and gives you a flatter color profile. So you have more freedom and control when grading in post. So one quick note is when you're running D-Log, the Mavic 2 will need to switch to H.265, which is more compressed than H.264. That means that your workstation will be working a lot harder uncompressing these files and when it's reading it. So to be able to get to these settings, all you would have to do is go to the camera settings, hit the style button, and change the picture profile to D-Log. So the next setting we're gonna talk about is the little T on the right side of the remote. This turns your flight mode into tripod mode. In the older drones, you have to go to the intelligent flight modes to access this. So it's really nice that DJI put it on the right side of the remote. With tripod mode enabled, unlike position mode and sport mode, it's a lot slower and precise. The flight speed and sensitivity will be substantially reduced for more fine and stable shooting mode. As you can see here, I have the sticks fully pressed down and the Mavic is going at a stable speed completely opposite of what it would do if it's in sport mode. When getting cinematic footage, this setting is really important because it gives you the ability to have precise movements and it takes away the jerky feeling when flying. All right, so that's a wrap. Those are a few important settings that you should keep in mind when filming a cinematic video with your Mavic 2. You guys already know the drill. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up with our adventures. It's Migs with Polar Pro signing out and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.